I am Karen Lestrup, and I am presenting for you this month's Tarot Podcast. And just to mention a couple of things, I do get questions like, please show the cards, right? But listen, the way I roll, I spread the cards, but then I get a lot of extra information clairvoyantly and psychically. So it's not linearly card by card like a lot of people do. But if you're wanting to see cards, there's a lot of great readers out there that will show you their cards as they work. Maybe one day I'll put together a course for you and then we can do the cards and I can go through them one by one and teach you those things. But that's down the road. But listen, before we start off the monthly podcast here, I just want to mention for those of you who are really into meditation and love that kind of music, I have added a track at the very end for your enjoyment. So let's get going and take a look at what you can expect now here this month. Hello Virgo, we're looking at your tarot forecast here now for June and uh, starting off here on a very busy note, there's a group of people around you that I see that you either are affiliating with or that's wanting you to participate in something here with them. Now I'm feeling it could hold a level of stress, however, I'm also seeing it's holding a pretty nice level of creativity. So. Is it something that can behoove you or is it just stressful? I'm feeling that this is joyful stress, okay? Because from it, I'm seeing that there's new thoughts, new ideas, maybe even new hopes being generated by being affiliated with uh, these people. And I'm thinking also here that there's a high level of troubleshooting something that they might have been working on for a while, trying to find some solution. And lo and behold, it looks like you here, Virgo, might be the one that can come to the aid. So if you see, you know, a, a certain solution, don't hold back, don't be afraid, but actually step forward and I'm seeing how they will not only totally appreciate it, but that you can receive some glory from that too. So as you proceed throughout the month, it's it's a month with actually quite a bit of people here around you. And so the group is one thing, um, but there's other individuals here, I feel, too. Um, you're going to be speaking with a, a certain gentleman, which could be either a family member, it could be a brother uh, or somebody that you feel that you have confidence in. And I see how you're wanting to talk about the future of some situation. And I feel it has to do with where you're moving from this foundation uh, of a mindset and to the next. And maybe it's you caring for somebody as well. It could be you looking into probable opportunities for somebody that you're caring for. This man, he is uh, very foresighted. He knows what he's uh, good for. He knows his job really well. I feel that there's support here. There's action also from this person. And he's he's quite generous here at heart. So between the two of you, I feel that you're opening up uh, these new doors together. Of course, this could be your significant other. Uh, if you're a female, it could be a you know, your husband, it could be a partner, but it doesn't have to be because um, he's actually just showing up in the area of communication about the future. So he doesn't have to be somebody that you're intimately or emotionally connected to. But at least as far as where you're wanting to go with this, what you're trying to open up and your ultimate goals, this person here, he knows the ropes. There's a short trip that you're going to be making this month here, Virgo, and I'm feeling you've been wanting to go for some time, but then it's like there's always been this one thing or another. So you might have had to delay it or set it aside maybe once, twice, maybe even three times, but it looks like now you're going to be able to set it up and get going. And there's a lot of uh, joy and inspiration here uh, connected to it, uh, especially in the sense of where I feel for at least some of you for healing because there's a healing quality that's overlaying this journey here and um, there might be sentimental uh, situations coming up memories or whatnot and uh, I'm seeing this also might have to do with uh, family or visiting family somewhere now there's two younger ladies, should I say, or younger girls showing up for you this month here, Virgo, and uh, I'm feeling that they are antsy, they're wanting to get up and about, uh, maybe even traveling uh, 
long distance. We're not just talking out of town here for a road trip, but it looks like they're actually planning wanting to go somewhere uh, either out of state, could even be out of country. I see how they have been speaking amongst themselves, whether these are your daughters or maybe just one of them are your daughter and then her girlfriend. Um, but they've, they're have they planning to go on some kind of expedition. They're, they're really excited for what creative aspects can come from it. So you will be hearing about it. And even if you don't have children, you might hear that this is something going on here for somebody close to you, your girlfriend's children or whatnot, nieces or you'll see. But then here it is for you. You're working really well as you always do. You're such a perfectionist at what you do. And uh, this month here, there's two females showing up around you, which could be co-workers, but it could also here, Virgo, indicate that it is a supervisor, a manager, or a boss. Uh, it could be clients also, perhaps, that you're working with. But I'm seeing how you're looking at wanting to do something here for them. It's as if they're bringing up a certain need that they can't accomplish themselves. So they're coming to you because they know that you're not just adequate at what you do, but you're a perfectionist at what you do. So they're trusting you, looking to you for help, support, guidance, and whatnot to accomplish whatever it is that they're needing uh, to have done. And I'm seeing that there's a joyful energy here for you, uh, in fact, to be able to do so. And maybe these two women reflect the part of that group that we started out speaking about. All right, so here we get more information on the details of it. But you have the finesse, you have the knack and the know-how, uh, you have the skill set, and also it looks like you might have the time, well, Mm, maybe not the time, but you're taking time uh, to do so because you're feeling it's a pleasure to be able to fulfill whatever it is that they're needing. When it comes to relationships, it's a month here where I feel that you're kind of like sitting back a little bit here, Virgo, as if things are stable, they're good. Um, I don't see that there's a tremendous changes here, but I'm seeing there's more of that sense of you kind of like hanging back thinking, well, I'm ready. I'm ready for some change. As if you're just kind of gently waiting or hoping for something to come in uh, to the picture. And I do, in fact, see that. So it might be something that you're already intuiting. Uh, and so just waiting for your partner uh, to kind of step up or come forward with something. And I do see there is... um it could be an invitation. It could also be something being presented that can heighten the sense of your relationship. So it's all good. For those of you, Virgo, and I always get that question, what about us who are single? If you're single and you're in this waiting, uh, this holding uh, spot, well, then I see something coming here your way as well. So a little patience required it's all about listening to the music and doing the dance, not stepping too fast ahead, but to kind of like wait for the universe to meet you halfway because it takes two halves for a relationship uh, to take place. So spare your energy a little bit and then see what's coming up. I feel it's more now July, which is going to be your month, but we're just going to have to wait and see what July brings for you in the next reading. But so far, June is looking excellent. I mean, it's you're busy, you're doing good. I see you're feeling harmonious. There is that extra help that you're giving out here to people in need. Um, so all is good. Now, there might be some news, I feel, about a home somewhere, and I don't think it's your home at all. Uh, it could be somebody else's home. Maybe they're looking at uh, wanting to wrap up certain things. There might be a move uh, included in that, uh, but it, it's all good. So I, I'm seeing some insight coming your way in that regard. As far as your finances this month, um, I see stability. I don't see any biggies, no big wows, <laughs> wow factors, but stability. So it, it's a good month. It's rather quiet here, but the buildup is more so for what is coming for you in July. Uh, like I said, work-wise, uh, you're doing good. 
your finances are stable, your relationship is what we just walked through. There is that whatever family situation. And then there is, in fact, somebody reaching out to you from the circle of friends. Now, this seems to be a professional person as well. And uh, it looks like he's shutting down on a certain cycle. He's been uh, putting a lot of effort into coming to the conclusion of and it looks like he can already see that goal where he's heading so that he can finalize uh, this situation. And then it's more like I see him sharing with you how happy he is to be able to get to that final point, put down his burdens, and then take a rest and start a new project. So you have that as well. There could be somebody here, maybe in the family, that you at times worry about. So it must be somebody elderly, I feel. Uh, that is in a state of it is what it is, kind of a little bound by, maybe by circumstances where mobility might not be, you know, the easiest anymore. But this person I see is doing well. I just see it's more like you're thinking about this person, holding it very close to heart and don't be, you know, too late about reaching out and saying hello because it's always good, you know, for them uh, in that stage to hear from their loved ones. So it's just that we sometimes get so busy, you know, with everything else going on in life that time slips away from us. But, you know, at least I see you sending a lot of thoughts, a lot of love in that direction there. So basically a good month, a, a solid month. And like I said, not the big wow factors yet, but I see it's pending, coming. Really excited now to see what July next month will bring to you in this matter. So listen, uh, Virgo, enjoy your month. And until next time, have a good one. And stay tuned for your meditation music here now. And I will see you again next month. Bye now. Thank you for tuning in and for following.